And we have arrived at the Win slash Encore property, the Win Poker Room, for a $400 event of their winter series. $400, one day, expecting around 200 entrants and almost $20,000 for first. Great value, great structure, 30 minute levels, great staff. You know, you know how I feel about the win. Let's get in there. We're coming in two hours late. Four hours of late, Reg, with breaks means the last second you can enter is at 420. Plays it. Hopefully we're only in for one bullet, but we got shells in the chamber. Let's get that trophy. I raise up pocket nines and get two callers. The flop comes queen, five, deuce, two diamonds. We check and it checks around. The turn is the six of diamonds. We now have a flush draw and a pair. I bet and they both call. Did someone check back a queen on the flop? I don't think so. I'm guessing there's a lot of one diamond combos. So when the river brings a deuce, we have to assume our nines are good a good percentage of the time. So I check to the gentleman with the big stack on my left and he puts out a bet of 4,800. What's he repping? Did he turn the flush? I don't think so, Tim. The other person folds and I put in the call. He shows King 10 with the King of Diamonds and we're off to a great start. Letting him know we're not gonna be pushed around from hand one. A few levels later with blinds at 501,000. Action folds to under the gun plus one, a young female who open limps off of a 25k stack. Folds me in the cutoff, I look down to ace king suited, sitting on about 30k, so we make it 3,000 to go. Standard 3x over a limper, keeping our sizings very basic. As you'll see for the remainder of this video, min raise pre, small ball post. Let's find our edge in various streets instead of just push fold. Let's build a stack. Action folds around to the limper and she says 3,000 is not enough. She's all in, 20,000. I put in the call, 40K pot almost, and they have pocket nines. The flop comes. Queen, Jack, Brick, two diamonds. We got the whole world, the turn's a king, and the river's a brick, not a nine, and we get the full double up and we're up to about 40,000. I'm shipping up nicely, and I look down at ace, king in the cutoff. I raise it up, the blinds call, flop comes ace, jack, six. The heater continues, I bet, and the small blind calls 2,000. The turn is a three, a brick. They check, and it's time to size up, going for three streets of value. I make it 6,200. They think about it for a while before they check, jam all in. What are they repping? A set, ace, jack, set of sixes, ace, jack, ace, six. Seems pretty unlikely. We put in the call for about 20,000, 21,000 total, and they show us ace, jack of diamonds. Horrible news. And the river's a brick, and we double him up, and we're down to about 10,000 chips. The blind's at 1,500, 1,500. Action folds to an aggressive female on the cutoff position. She opens for 4,000, folds us in the big blind. I look down at pocket jacks. Time to put in the three bet to 15,000 off a of 46,000 stack. She has us covered. She quickly jams and we quickly call. Cards are on their backs. Pocket tens versus pocket jacks. Let's hold. We did hold and we now have almost 100,000 chips. 20K starting stack. A younger Asian male opens to 4,000 at the 1,000, 2,000 level in the cutoff. Aggressive female flats the button. Small blind folds. I'm in the big blind with ace, five of diamonds, and 70,000 chips. Certainly find a flick in the call, but ace five suited likes to be played aggressively, and the most aggressive way to play it is all in. We have the original razor covered, and we're not worried too much about the flatter. Original razor snaps it in himself. Uh oh, probably 45,000 in there. And we're heads up against pocket queens. We need a miracle. Flop comes. Six, four, three, two diamonds. The combo draw with an over. We're probably a favorite. The turn is a six. The ultimate brick, but never fear. The Jack of Diamonds is here on the river. We eliminate a player and we're over 100,000 chips again. About 25 players remain. Action folds to a local reg who makes it the open limp amount off an 88k stack in the cutoff, interesting. I'm on the button with two black aces, so my decision is easy. We're gonna three X this to 15,000. Small blind folds. A lot of, should I just call everybody an Asian male? A lot of Asian males in this tournament. Very aggressive players. I like loose passive players, not tight aggressive. He flats the big blind, and it looks like we're about to be three way to a flop with aces until the limper 
shoves all in. 88,000, I happily put in the call, and the big blind folds what I believe is Jack's. The board comes out clean, except for a jack on the turn. He would have got me if he would have played his hand more aggressively. He would have got it in bad, but got me. And we eliminate a player. We're closer to the bubble. And I have about 320,000 chips now. Uh-oh. Bubble pressure. The bubble has burst. We're in the money. In for 400, out for at least 800. Feeling great at the win. One of my favorite, actually my favorite, hotel casino in Las Vegas. We got some chips. Let's put on some pre-final table pressure. Elderly Caucasian man on my right has about 160,000 to start the hand at 3,000, 6,000 blinds, and he makes it 60,000 to go. 61k chips. I'm next to act, and I look down at pocket kings. We have him covered, about 320,000, and we put in the mid raise, 120,000 to go. Action folds back to him, and he is really hating his 10x open at this point. He contemplates his options and says, F it, I'm all in. I call and he has ace jack suited, I believe. Let's roll the tapes. Uh, have fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> are still 3,000, 6,000. Middle position shoves 78,000. Was at 13 blinds. Folds to me in the big blind. I have about 500,000 in my stack. And I look down at King Jack of Hearts. Probably a, a neutral EV call, throwing the dead money and a little run good. And we flick it in and we're up against pocket fours. I like my chances. Let's see what happens. All I ask is that you hit the subscribe button. It's free. It's not a subscription. There's no money involved. It helps the channel and it helps you show support. Hit the alerts bell so you know when I put out a new video. On that note, I appreciate you, all the viewers, on my journey in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're sitting on about 650,000, going to 5,000, 10,000, I believe. Probably close to chip lead with 12 players remaining. Let's stay aggressive, make good decisions, and let's get that trophy in $18,000 for first place, one day event, 30 minute levels at the win. Two big hands. Big blind, under the gun, plus one, shoves all in for 119,000. I'm in the big blind with ace, nine of spades, and 600,000. Pretty easy call. We flick it in and we're up against uh, pocket sixes. We're off to the races. You gotta win your flips. Let's win. Here's the video. Good end. We get to the final table and we have about 500,000 chips, not too shabby. A few bigger stacks on my left, some shorter stacks on my right. Let's get that trophy. We only have to capture just over 3 million chips. No problem. 7 handed at the final table. Elderly Caucasian male on my right, open limps. In the cutoff, I'm on the button with the ace jack of clubs. Make it 36,000 to go. The blinds fold and he calls or heads up to a flop of five, three, three, two spades. He has the audacity to lead into us, 25,000, of course we call. The turn's an ace of spades, completing the flush and completing our top pair. He bets again, 25,000. Can't go anywhere for this price. We put in the call and the river is a four. One liner to a straight. How many do sex combos is he limping? A lot of small pairs might be in that range. He fires out about a 75,000. I noted he was weak from his small bets previously on the flop and turn. Is this his big bluff? 75,000? I put in the call and he shows me ace four offsuit and says two pair. I also have two pair, a different two pair. And he takes down a nice pot, put me down to about 480,000. Tried to win a pot at the final table, didn't work out. One orbit later, we're now seven handed or six handed. Elderly Caucasian male, open limps again off a 400K stack. Under the gun, I'm next to act with the old King 10 of Hearts. Make it 36,000. We get a flatter from the aggressive female. 
in middle position, and the small blind has the audacity to shove all in for 129,000. He's got to have a monster. The question is, after the blinds fold, the limper folds is back to me. Are we getting the right price to gamble with King 10? We still have to worry about a flatter behind us. I almost just rip it in there to isolate and just run it, but I eventually fold for the extra 120 some thousand. Aggressive female calls. She has ace five suited. Squeezer facing early position action has pocket threes. I would have won with my king 10. Feels bad, man. Chip leader opens the cutoff. We're now five handed. Elderly gentleman on my right puts in the call from the small blind on the big blind with Queen Nine offsuit. 20k more. Let's see a flop of King Nine Six two spades. We check to the Razor who bets 35,000. Small blind folds and of course we put in the call with second pair. The turn is a three of spades. Completing the flush, I check and he checks. Thinking he has a lot of give ups. He's been at opening very wide. We've seen queen deuce and king deuce. When the river's in the offsuit king, I'm liking my hand and it's time to go for value. A variety of straight draws have missed. On the king nine six, we're talking seven eight, jack ten, queen jack, queen ten. So as a value blocker bet, I put out eighty five thousand. He thinks about it, snickers, and says, "I should be raising." That can't be good. He puts in the call. We show our top two pair, and they're no good against king deuce, and we lose another pot. I lose a lot of small pots that are very very annoying at this final table, and people are losing. So we are making money as we lose pots and fold. Eventually, we're down to four-handed, and I'm the shortest stack with 155,000 at 10,000, 20,000, 10,000. That's right, they reduced the big blind four-handed. Great feature at the win. Blinds are coming around quick. We gotta make a move four-handed. Jack nine off under the guns, probably the bottom of our shoving range, but we're gonna go for it. We gotta get these through, or we gotta get lucky. I shove all in. Guy on my left has 400K, he folds. Chip leader with about 2 million puts in the call and the big blind folds are up against ace jack. We need a nine. Here is the shocking video. Good turn. Good game. Good luck. Thank you. How you doing? Good. And I'm out of the win. $400 one day. 178 entrance, and I got fourth place for $4,400 after tip. It didn't hit me till after I got paid out. All the fours, not a good sign. Not a good sign right when I released the vlog where the thumbnail is me with the number 444 on my Squid Games morphed character. Face swapped. Uh, well, simulation confirmed. Overall, can't complain about a 4K profit, but we were so, so close to that trophy. Maybe next time, maybe next time we'll catch that heat at the final table. Punish them with the chip lead. It just wasn't meant to be. Stay safe and uh, hit that subscribe button. 50,000 subs. We had 50,000. Let's get to 100,000. And I'm out.